Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kristen and today I'm taking you along with me to Ikea so we can check out everything that's new in stores for 2023. Now is always my favorite time to go to Ikea right at the beginning of the year because they release so many new furniture pieces and decor and it's just a fresh new start. So I can't wait to see what they have in stores today. I hope this video gives you some ideas on what you can pick up next time you're at Ikea. If you enjoy watching and find this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and let's go ahead and head inside. All right, let's head right on upstairs to the showroom. They are constantly changing the showroom, adding new pieces, recreating rooms, so it's really fun to look around. They're now recently including the prices of the entire rooms you see, which I really appreciate. It gives you a better idea of what you're looking at and what is in your budget. I love walking through here and getting ideas on how you can make a really functional space. Ikea is great with space saving and small space ideas, and you're gonna notice a lot of these curtain room dividers. This is such a simple concept of just mounting a curtain rod to your ceiling and using a regular curtain to create a room divider. This is casual, it's pretty temporary, you don't need to put up full walls. This is such a minimal way of creating a casual divide. This room setup has always been one of my favorites because it's so cozy, but you're gonna see a lot of the 2023 trends coming into the showroom. So this kitchen used to be white and they've now changed it to a wood finish. You're gonna notice so many more wood kitchens this year, so they're displaying that in the Ikea showroom. If you'd like to know what else is on trend this year, I'll leave my interior design trends for 2023 video linked down below in the description box. One of the trends for 2023 is also bold colors. So you're gonna notice a ton of bold colors coming into fabric choices around Ikea. This new sofa is a mid-century modern style sofa. The legs and the shape of it really align with that style. It's very deep, really soft and comfortable. So I think it's a great choice if you wanna go bold, but it also does come in different fabric options. Now this isn't a new sofa this season, but it is new as of last year. And I just noticed something really interesting about this sofa. I really liked that it was a high back sofa, but now I realize that it's actually interchangeable. So these top cushions actually come down and they can create a low profile sofa or this higher top sofa. So it really has some versatility to it, which I love. It's very neutral, it's very soft, and I think this is a great sectional option. I just spotted some new ottomans and benches. This is one of their new benches. It comes in different finishes and colors, so they have a leather option and this corduroy, which is very on trend as well. These are perfect for adding additional seating to your home without taking up too much space. They also have this gorgeous new modern ottoman. This swivels, it's very mid-century modern inspired. It looks a lot like the famous Eames chair, and this also comes in different finishes as well. So they have this gray, they also have red, a brown leather, and this black leather. I think this would be great for some additional seating around your home or you can pair it with the matching chair. I just noticed that they have matching chairs here that are very inspired by the Eames chair. These are swivel loungers. They have a nice natural recline to them and they actually look really great. I would suggest getting these in the gray or the black. I find that the red and this brown leather is just a little loud and I think if you get it in the darker colors, it will look more expensive and high end. But this is a great new product for Ikea. They've never had anything like this. And if you have a modern or mid-century modern style home, this would look incredible. Now here's a new media unit. It comes in two different colors, the white and the navy, and it has adjustable shelves. So you can really position the shelves wherever you need. I think this is a really good price, but I would suggest using baskets inside of a unit like this just to create more of a clutter-free area. I prefer more doors and drawers when it comes to media units so you can hide that clutter. 
These small space setups are new here and I think they're so inspiring. You can really see what the possibilities are even in a small space. This desk is perfect for anyone that's really trying to maximize their small space and pretty much have everything all in one. This can be a dining area, a workspace, and it can fold right down and barely take up any room at all once it's mounted to the wall like that. So if you are living in small quarters, that would be something that you should consider getting. Again, both of these spaces use that divide with the curtain. It's just such a great way to accentuate the height of your space and create zones around your room. I think Ikea makes very good affordable cabinets and they just released this new line. This is actually the same line as that media unit that we saw, the same top and color options, but these have doors. They have two different door options. This white one is a little bit more like a wood panel door and it has some texture to it. And then they also have the glass version. I think these would be great for some extra storage around your home. You could even use one as a little coffee bar or you can get multiple of them and push them together for a longer look. One of the most popular well-known products here is the Ikea Calyx unit. It comes in different finishes, different sizes, and these are always DIY'd. I've done a DIY project on these, lots of people have, and most people put this unit up on legs. So Ikea has now created a base for the Calyx unit that sits it off of the floor like that. It's very simple, and this is just a little sign that they might be watching what people are doing and creating products that people people really want. So now you can get a base to your Ikea Calyx unit for just $30. I think it's a simple way that you can elevate a product that you might already have. I find that it makes it look lighter, a little bit airier, and less clunky. So if you already have a unit, maybe consider getting the base and it will change the look of your piece drastically. Now into the dining area, I just spotted these brand new dining chairs and wow, they are bold, they are exciting, they're bright and fun, they're super sculptural and I think these are very on trend this year. This year is all about bold colors and uniqueness and these chairs look like an art piece on their own. They're just $35, they're actually very comfortable, and I just think they're very striking. I think they would look great in a monochromatic room that matches the color. This berry deep red color is actually very elegant. I think they would look stunning in a room that kind of matches that color scheme. I also really love this color because it's muted and a little bit more neutral. It's kind of like a gray blue green, and the yellow is a big punch of color. So I think these would look great with a black dining table and they really go for that modern eclectic look. I think I found Ikea's most comfortable dining chair. Look at this dining chair. It's like a big pillow and it actually feels like it too. It's $105 and it's so comfortable. It looks very laid back, very cloud-like, and that flanged edge just makes it look super casual. So I really love this. It's something different. I've never actually seen a dining chair like this, but I think it's worth it. If you're looking for comfortable seating around your dining table, this could be a really great option. I've noticed Ikea has been adding new appliances and now they have a new wine fridge that's a 52 bottle wine fridge. This is perfect to add into your kitchen if you really want to take it up a notch and have that customization. I love that it's available now at Ikea. Wow, Ikea finally has the undershelf organizers. They have baskets, wine holders, hooks, and larger baskets. I love the hooks for holding mugs. I find that that really helps create more space in my cupboards and the baskets are perfect as well for holding food or for holding your extra dishes. 
The newest items you'll see in the bedroom collection are all of these woven pieces. So the headboard, the side table, and the bench. I've shown these in previous videos because they didn't come out just now, but they are a newer product here. My favorite of them all is probably this bench because there's storage inside. It's perfect for the end of your bed just like this to hold extra bedding and it adds so much texture to the end of your bed. So for $150, I feel like this is a great find. If you're going for that woven look, I would choose either just getting the nightstands or just getting the bench. I wouldn't do both. I find it looks better when you just have that one element in the room and it helps it stand out even more. All right, let's head right on down to the marketplace. This is where we're gonna see even more new products and you can shop all of the small pieces down here. I always go straight for the baking section. Baking is one of my favorite hobbies and I get a lot of my baking supplies from Ikea. I even have this little cake decorating set that's come in so handy, so I highly recommend that. I just spotted the first new product down here. These are oven serving dishes, so you can bake in them, cook in them, and use them to serve. They're really pretty and I love that they come in different colors. I really love the cream and the sage. Those would work perfectly in my home. I always find new products in this little kitchen essentials area. They now have these spice mills and they come in a pack of two. So they're amber glass jars and you can load your spices in and use it for cooking. So this is $12.99 for the pack of two. If you're looking for affordable kitchen essentials, always check out this section. They always have new products that are under $7. This is a new set of three slicer and dicer set. These are incredible. I've always got my apple slicer from here, so I would recommend these. They also have vegetable spiralers, which is brand new here as well. A little pack of two for just $4.99. I already have these beverage dispenser jars and I love them. They're great for serving and hosting, but now they have these new wood stands. They've already had the metal stand available, but this is such a great option if you're looking for a different look. These look really sturdy and they're just $5. Now onto the bedding section. There are so many options to choose from in here. I remember coming in here as a young girl and getting to pick out my bedspread and it was so exciting. Now looking at them, I would actually opt for the muted toned down patterns like this plaid one or the simple sage one. I always think doing a little bit less with your bedding makes for a better result. So even with the blues here, I would choose this new one here that has a subtle pattern to it. It's nothing too bold, but it adds a bit of interest. Same thing here with the grays. I do love the plaid in this as well, and the solid gray. These are all great because they're just duvet covers, so you can continuously change them up and change the look of your room. I always like to start with a white duvet cover, and then you can build on your design from there. One of the main colors you're gonna notice this year is brown. So you're gonna see brown in all areas of design, including towels. So now they have these new brown towels available. They also have this new section. It's kind of like a spa, bathroom, lifestyle section. I find that Ikea is bringing a lot of lifestyle products into their stores now. So they have eye masks, this little exfoliator, which might be coming home with me because I think this could be really useful. They also have a matching toiletry bag. You can use this for travel and makeup and I just really love the simple design and color scheme of it. They also have these reusable cleansing pads. These are washable and they come with a bunch inside this little bag. So this entire section was quite a surprise. I didn't expect this, but it's so exciting and I think all of these products would be perfect in a bathroom. I 
always recommend checking out Ikea curtains because I don't think you can get a better deal than shopping your curtains at Ikea. They have great lengths and different fabric options. I really love this whole velvet line. These come in different colors and I just think velvet curtains can add a lot of luxurious texture to a space. These are also in sets of two as well, which is such a great advantage to shopping them at Ikea. Usually when you're shopping curtain panels, they come in single panels. So this is exciting that they all come in sets of two. It just makes it easier. They also have the Ridfa curtains back in stock, which is very exciting. I'm pretty sure these were sold out for almost a year. These are everyone's favorite curtains at Ikea. You can hang them so many different ways, but I just find that they look expensive. If you hang them on curtain rings, you use a black rod, they just have a great weight and texture to them and they have them in different lengths as well. So they're very versatile and they're my favorite curtains to shop at Ikea. Now into the rug section, I noticed that they have my favorite rug in a new shape. They now have the Low Halls jute rug in a circle. This would be perfect for a large entryway or underneath your dining table if you have a round table. I think jute rugs are very versatile, neutral, and super durable. always love looking through the Ikea baskets. I'm not seeing any brand new ones right now, but there are different colors and shades and textures for everyone. They also have all of these brand new bins if you're looking to do any organizing for the new year. Now these organization pieces for tabletops or desks are very useful. They don't take up any space, so you can actually use them between desks or against the wall. They have different positioning you can use, but they hook right onto your surface and they're just an extra accessory that you can use to organize your space. into the lighting section I just spotted this brand new table lamp and this is a task lamp so perfect for reading or for your desk this is $17.99 it's very simple and modern but you can actually turn the top of it and point the light in whatever direction you need They always have new vases here in the marketplace and these jugs or vases are very multi-purpose. You could use it for a jug, a vase, or you could put all of your wooden spoons and utensils in it and use it as a decorative piece. I like a lot of these neutral vases. They're just timeless and elegant. This one here is very pretty. It just looks sculptural on its own. So you could use stems or flowers inside or leave it as is and use it as a decorative piece in your home. I already have these vases and I think they're beautiful and handmade and have a really gorgeous finish. I've always got my eucalyptus stems from here, but they also have the olive stems now as well. These are new and they're not the best olive stems I've ever seen, but if you're looking for an affordable option, they're just $4.99 each. And of course, before I leave, I always check out the as is section. You never know what you're gonna find. This is where they sell returned products. So some pieces might be in perfect condition, but they're always marked down. So you can find 
anything in here. Sometimes you can even find pieces that have been discontinued or they're sold out everywhere. So I always recommend checking it out. Another benefit is that these pieces are already put together and built. So you don't have to be building any Ikea furniture. You can get it as is and save a ton of time. So a dresser like this, it's in perfect condition. It's something that could come home with you today. So always before you leave, check out the as is section. It's usually by the checkout. All right, so that's it for today's shopping. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope this gave you some ideas on what you can pick up next time you're at Ikea. Let me know down below in the comments which product did you see in stores today that you absolutely need for your home. And if you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos this year. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have my notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.